babes attempt number three to do this video on freedom and love and balance in the freedom constellation our 10-day love fest this is being recorded on zoom and i will upload it onto youtube and then you can follow through with the eft tapping if you would like to all you need to do is copy what I do physically and the words that I say. I haven't scripted this. I am going absolutely based on intuition and what is going to come up. But the focus is loving freedom and loving balance and letting go of the need to be like others when we are engaging in things like self-care. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Elle. I am a five-time Australian representative, gold medalist for Australia, Paralympian and an intuitive business coach. And the Freedom Constellation is my business building community, spiritual space on Facebook. And today we're doing, well, for the next 10 days or for the last four days and next six days, we're doing a 10-day love fest on freedom, love and balance. So if you just want to start on the side of your hand here, take a big deep breath. Loving freedom. I'm not really sure I even know what that means. And if I don't know what it means, how can I even tap on it? I don't even really know what freedom is. And I think I know what love is. I felt it with people and I sometimes feel it for myself. But I'm unsure how to love myself freely. I'm unsure how to gather it all up and live from a place of loving freedom. And when I mean by when I say all of it, I mean all of it, like life. And then God, I think of loving balance. And I, I don't really know what that means either. I mean, it looks like other people know what it means, but I'm unsure of how to express myself lovingly, to balance out my life lovingly, and to connect lovingly with things like self-care and self-belief. And even though I don't know what these things mean, and even though I'm unsure about how to express myself through them and with them in my life, I ex fully love, accept and forgive myself. And even though I feel like a bit silly tapping on the side of my hand, thinking that this will shift how I feel deeply about myself, I still loving, lovingly accept and forgive and appreciate myself. Loving freedom and loving balance is something I deeply aspire to. Setting myself free with love feeling balanced and strong with love. I know that when I experience that, it will change me forever. Okay, take a big deep breath. And starting at the top of the head. I don't know when I felt free. I can't really remember when the last time it was that I felt really free and lovingly free. That seems like a really long time ago. 
but that's okay because I know that I can get back there. I can experience loving freedom again. I can strip back the layers of what I believe about it, of what I believe about freedom and what I believe about love. And I can maybe stop putting so much pressure on myself to experience it every day. Because living this life is not about experiencing one emotion every day. It's not really about knowing whether you'll get to the end of your day and you've even experienced 50 emotions because we're always changing, we're always shifting, we're always moving through something. And the more that we can let ourselves do that with love, well, that's loving freedom, isn't it? The letting go of expectations that's what I am doing. Letting go of expectations on my body. Letting go of expectations on how I see the world. Letting go of expectations on how I believe others perceive me. And letting go of the expectations of how I'm meant to show up in the world. Just dropping them getting rid of them. I'm setting myself free. I'm letting myself off the hook. I'm peeling back the layers of the onion. And it gives me this feeling where I can breathe. I can breathe again. And I realize that I'm exactly where I need to be right now. That in this moment, if only I would let it, I am free. And when I am free is when I take the pressure off to be perfect, to people please, to have a ridiculous Instagram feed with no bad days, only days where I look successful and sexy and insert deep needed desire here. When I set myself free and I let go of expectation, I let go of the need to create balance because I know that I am living loving balance already. I am the epitome of loving balance. And all those moments where I slip up in my balance, I'm okay because I know that I love myself. I know that I fully accept myself. And I know that I fully forgive myself too. And that is just such a gift and I know that letting go of these expectations that I have on myself and others are just learnt behavior I've learnt how things are meant to be and I haven't given my chance myself the chance to create what 
my life is for me and what things mean for me. But I'm not doing that anymore. Oh my God, this is when I shared all of that. And I step across the road into freedom. I step into self-power. I step into loving freedom and balance. I release expectations of what freedom is meant to be. I release expectations on what balance looks like and feels like. I love myself in the moments of self-negative talk. And I breathe and lean into shedding all this shit. Creating more and more beautiful opportunities for me in every moment of every day. Because I set myself free. Into loving freedom. And with that loving balance. Take a big deep breath. Hold it and then let it go. You can do that as many times as you want. You can change the words if you want to. Just know that energetically you have just shifted a lot of stuff about expectations and the fear of needing to be something. Freedom is your birthright. Balance is a example of freedom more often than not we think we have to do something but if we would just let ourselves be free of the expectations of how we have to be in the world we would just naturally have more balance so go and drink heaps of water i send you so much love thanks for hanging out in the freedom constellation and i will see you tomorrow when we talk about speaking your truth see you babes <laughs>